thank you to our candidates who are participating in the Enterprise Chamber of Commerce uh, annual Peanuts and Politics event. I'm Paul Sherling. I'm the chairman of the Legislative Committee uh, for the Enterprise Chamber. Normally, this event is live and in person. However, considering the times that we live in with the COVID-19 pandemic, the Legislative Committee of the Chamber of Commerce felt it was in the best interest of our candidates, the family members of candidates, campaign supporters, and citizens to conduct this online. We apologize that we can't do this in person, but we're going to make uh, lemonade out of lemons. Uh, this event will be uploaded on our chamber website, uh, our chamber Facebook rather, and YouTube for easy access for viewing to the public. So the Enterprise Chamber of Commerce also appreciates the media and joining us today. Uh, a big thank you and shout out to Gil Anthony for moderating this event. And most importantly, thank you to all of our participants and candidates. When entering the public arena by qualifying as a candidate, it shows you have a vested interest in improving the lives of our citizens here in the city of Enterprise. So um, I'm going to hand this over to Gil. Thank you so much. Okay, th thank you very much, Judge. And uh, as uh, Judge Paul Sherling said, uh, this is being hosted by the Enterprise Chamber of Commerce Relations Committee, and Judge Paul Sherling is the uh, chairman of the committee. All questions are composed by a committee, and they've been kept secret uh, right up until by the committee members right up until we get on the air here. And also, candidates are uh, in alphabetical order by last name. Thus, we have uh, we made the opportunity available to three candidates of District One, and we have Ms. Sonia Rich with us, and the other two have not uh, reached us or declined to participate in this. Also, we'd like to remind you that all segments will be uploaded and posted on the Enterprise Chamber of Commerce Facebook page and YouTube channel within the next 24 to 48 hours. And uh, you can find detailed information about the election and the candidates on the Chamber's website at www.enterprisealabama.com. And also you can tune in to the uh, Southeast Sun for their Facebook Live. And also this is going to be made available to the candidates throughout the day. We've got uh, four segments. This is segment number two. I'd like to introduce, uh, first what we're going to do is we're going to give uh, Miss Sonia Rich uh, from District One, we're going to give her a sort of a, a, a two minute summation of an introduction. Then we're going to pose a couple of questions and we'll have uh, closing comments. Uh, uh, first of all, Let's have an introduction and a two minute introduction by Ms. Sonia Rich. Okay. Madam Executive Director and Moderator, the Chairman, Chamber Committee and staff, Citizens of Enterprise, good day. I'm elated to join you for today, what we will consider, uh, I guess, an inaugural uh, virtual peanuts and politics event. I am Councilwoman Sonia Wheeler Rich. I am the current city council representative for District 1. Besides my daily duties as a financial support worker too, for the past 12 years at Coffee County Department of Human Resources, I have been blessed with the additional duty of ensuring that the citizens' well-being and fair and just treatment are being met. I would say that I am motivated by a personal call to service and to help others. I just simply love people. I am an enterprise girl born and raised. I am an Auburn graduate and I am a Capella University graduate. I'm an avid football fan and an outstanding cook. I just love to cook. I'm a member of the Simplified Dallas Club of Enterprise Alabama and I am also a member of the illustrious Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. I am a member of the Greater New Life Baptist Church I am a daughter, I am a sister, I'm an aunt, and I'm the proud wife of Mr. J.L. Rich. I am happy to participate with you today. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Ms. Rich, for the introduction and the opening comments. We have two questions for you. By the way, the other two candidates in District 1, uh, Readers White Jr. and Gerald Whitehurst. Our first question for you, Ms. Rich, Many times each person when seeking office has strong characteristics and life experiences that they bring to their position. What are some strengths you feel you bring to the table for the city council? To the converse, no one is perfect. Everyone has strengths and weaknesses that they see in themselves. What are some of the weaknesses or obstacles you feel you will have if elected to this position? You have uh, two minutes to respond. Yes, sir. I um, have served 
on the council for three years, I was appointed. Um, so I had to ask myself that very question oftentimes. I'll talk about what I consider my weaknesses first. Um, I'm not a business a woman. I don't, I don't own a business. Um, my career is enforcing child support uh, for the state of Alabama. And prior to being appointed, I, I never had any experience um, in governmental affairs whatsoever. So what I consider was a weakness was just the lack of knowing how the, the government worked, the, the, you know, how municipal government worked, the business dealings of the city, which I have found very intriguing. I don't consider it as much of a weakness now as I once did, but um, I was not um, experienced in dealing with um, the business of the city, uh, the things that the city in, um, deals with real estate, uh, even financial aspects of the city. One of my strengths that I think I bring to the council is the ability to be able to make sound decisions and listen to, listen to information as it's being presented and uh, process through those, um, those dealings. Um, outside of the internal uh, dealings with the council, um, as far as the community goes, I am visible in the community. Um, I'm known in the community. I think I'm a people person, so that's definitely one of my strengths. I have an ability to really connect with just about anyone that I come in contact with, and I've enjoyed that particular aspect um, of providing service to the constituents in the district that I live in and to be able to relate to them um, as it pertains to the city and the things that are going on in their city. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Rich. And our second question, assuming you are uh, elected, fast forward to the end of your term. What would you say the highlights of, of your term would be? Fast forward into the end of my term. I want to be able to say that a highlight would be that I was instrumental or part of a process that um, looked at, considered, or even implemented um, public transportation for the city of Enterprise. That is something that I've had conversation with many um, citizens about. I would like to look into that. I would like to you know, explore those options. And at the end of my term, if that could be something that we could say as a council that um, we were able to accomplish, I would be happy about that. I would also be happy about um, the possibility of every family enterprise having um, internet service. Um, so at the end of my term, I would be excited to say that um, every family that needed internet service was able to, you know, to be provided that. And that's just something that's been on my mind since the presence of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, as all of you know, um, many of our families are, are experiencing some difficulties. Some include the lack of internet services for their children um, who may be, uh, you know, attending school virtually or having to do a lot of virtual learning. So that is something that I would, um, be happy to say that I was able to accomplish after after four years. Okay, thank you very much for answering those two questions. We're going to give you the candidate, uh, Ms. Sonia Rich, uh, 30, uh, 60 seconds to sort of uh, give a closing comment, closing summary. Okay. Ms. Rich? I just want to say to everyone that if you are viewing this, it means that you want some answers, you want to um, know a little bit about me, and about this city and you want to make sure that I care about it as much as you do. Uh, you want to make sure that I will continue to bring real solutions with me to office and not just bandages. And I feel that my record exemplifies self-driven advocacy on behalf of all of us. Relatability, reliability, and responsibility. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, District 1 City Council uh, candidates, Sonia Rich, along with Readers White Jr. and Gerald Whitehurst. Once again, you can go to the uh, 
You can tune in to the Southeast Sun to follow us on Facebook Live. We have District 2 and District 3 coming up shortly. And also, uh, this will be uploaded to the YouTube channel and the Enterprise Chamber of Commerce Facebook page within the next 24 to 48 hours. And we'll be back in just a few minutes with, uh, with representatives from District 2 and District 3. Thank you very much.